Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of base 10 number system. This is standard 4.2a in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 4, which is a new item type called multiple select, of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have to choose two correct answers here. Let's make sure we understand how it works. If I try to answer just one and then move on, it is going to give me a warning saying you have not answered everything. So let's let's see what we can do here. Two points. So if we want both uh, both points to get full credit, we need to get both of these correct. Wow. Store sold 2,222 items in a day. All right. So let's Let's make a little place value chart because it looks like all of our questions are going to be about the value here, 2,222. I'm going to just write the values here. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, okay? So let's take a look at some of these statements. We're looking for two that are correct. The value of the digit in the tens, but well, they're all... They're all twos, okay? So in order for this to work to be 10 times greater, 10 times less, or one tenth, right? They need to be the same digit. You can't have a three and a four. They all have to be the same digit. So let's see, the value of the digit in the tens place, okay? So let's go ahead and write that. That's I'm going to write two times 10, because that's the value of the digit in the tens place, is one tenth the value of the digit in the hundreds place. Well, that's two times 100. So, is 2 times 10 one tenth the value of 2 times 100? Well, when you go in this direction, let's go ahead and put that right there, is one tenth the value of 2 times 100? When you're moving from your large value over here, you do get one tenth smaller each time you move to the right. So yes, if I'm moving from my 100, right? If I if I take my 2 times 100, okay? That's 200, right? That's a 2 in the hundreds place. And if I divide that by 10, because that's what that... You're going to learn more, a little bit about that in 5th and 6th grade, about multiplying by fraction, right? You can divide that by 10. If you divide 200 by 10, you are going to get 20. So yeah, that is correct. Because as you move to the right, each place value is one-tenth the size. So let's check B, or the second option. We only need one more. Divide the digit in the hundreds place. Okay, that's 2 times 100. Is 10 times, okay, so 10 times the value of the thousands place. Whoa, nope. Look, in the thousands place, I've got 2 times 1,000. That's actually incorrect. If you would have said one tenth, right? This two times one hundred is one tenth the value of the digit in the thousands place because it's missing a zero, right? Every time you you go to the left, you are timesing by ten. Every time you go to the right, you're uh, you know you're multiplying by one tenth. You're making it smaller. You're losing a zero. You add a zero as you go to the left. So this says going from the hundreds. Uh, to the thousands is you're actually making it bigger, you're actually making it smaller if you go from the thousands down to the hundreds. So not this one. Let's check option C, the value of the digits in the thousands, right? Two times one thousand is ten times the value of the digit in the hundreds. Yep, ten times two times one hundred. Yep, because as you're going uh, from the hundreds over here, you are getting ten bigger. So that is another answer right there. And these two are going to be incorrect. The value of the digit in the hundreds place, 2 times 100, is 1 tenth. The value of the 2 times 10, actually, nope, it's 10 times. And then I've got in 2 times 1 is 10 times value in the tens. No, it is going to be 1 tenth because you're going in the wrong direction. So our answer is the first and third option.